but I also may put in an, uh, an order for food. Uh, what's going on? Oh, okay, there it goes. That was a little weird. Funky. Normally it just starts right on up, but not this time around. Okay. I think we're okay. Ah. Let's see how this DLC is. Continue. Cause that's our fur that's gonna be now our main priority. So yeah. One second, chat. Okay, so we finished up a lot of other stuff. We need to go rest. So that way, Aloth can get his uh, injury off. Though we may not need to. Or we could just go ahead and head on down. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and go rest. Quick save and um, Queen's Birth is where we we're going, right? Yes, Queen Birth. So that way we can properly rest up. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, as I said in the as I said in the beginning, um, this DLC may break may uh make it or break it for me because. I love I'm loving the mechanics in this. I'm just not necessarily liking how repetitive a lot of this is getting. And the story just really isn't um the story just really isn't getting it for me. It, it's just not um Yeah, it's just, it's just not I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like not hitting me. It's not intriguing me. I'm a little disappointed in that. All right, so uh, gotta go ahead and. Ah, oh, there he is. Now, what can I do for you? You see anything you like? You let me. Back storage. <laughs> a private dance room. Sure, we'll take that. Mm, plus one casting spells, and plus one all skills. Okay. Let's go. Now the quest that we're going to mm, now the DLC beginning part or looks is looking like it's going it uh, it's recommending um. Edwin for us, or the psychic character. Not really understanding that. So we probably won't. I mean, I I I mean, I understand it. I'm just not sure if I care about it. Do I need to uh, supply anything? Like a little bit. Um, what about like food and what? Uh, I think we're fine. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, 
by a seat. And let's head on down. And see how this uh, DLC treats us. Uh, cause it's cold. What again? Ah, honored guest. Journey to Harbinger's Watch. Okay, Harbinger's Watch. Where is that at? Yeah, so we're actually also at a point in the game where I think we're going to end up having to choose what faction and what factions we like. And what we're going to, uh, which factions we're actually going to end up siding with. Oop. Yeah, so, yeah, we're gonna end... I think we're... Uh, because we're at a point... What? what? The Windless Waste. Hmm. Oh, God, that looks terrifying. As for what we're all gonna be... I don't, as for what side I'm actually gonna choose, I'm probably gonna end up freeing the slaves. It's going to... Uh, what the blazes? A wet, heavy thud draws your attention to a figure uh, standing on top of the icy cliff. Light glints off the cl mm, off of the cleaver he holds, readied over, oh, readied overhead. The blade arcs down, evoking a fine red mist that hangs upon the right, uh, frigid air. And the kiss straightens as he gazes as his gaze finds you, and he fixes you with a single pointed finger from a blood-stained hand. It is you! Come at last! Um it it is me. How kind of you to notice. God what your fellow traveler. A day of glory this turns out to be. First auspices of a visitation, then the arrival of the dusk speaker. Uh, the... Uh, the... The what? Truly, I hear the call of winter. I have so little idea what you're talking about, I don't know where to start. The elf blinks at you. No matter. Who among us truly understands the will of the gods? Hi. <laughs> Vatnir, our mentor, foretold your coming. He described you perfectly from toes to top. Praise be to Rimmergand. Yeah, praise to Rimmergand. <laughs> Show the invitation. Vatnir is the one who sent me this letter. The man squints down at the uh, paper before nodding vigorously. Come in, Dusk Speaker. Come in. Be sure to speak with our mentor, Vatnir. He's down in the chapel in the middle of the settlement. <laughs> The Dusk Speaker has arrived! Okay. I guess that works. Let's, uh, let's go talk with the um, Fidmir. I always thought of a beast as having four legs. An aurox, yes. But with the torso of a man. So exactly. Minotaur. Wait, what say? How can God have torso of man and body of orcs? He is a god. He can be anything. A sculpture carved from a black... Well... 
I think the guy just reversed what the other guy said. The other guy said, head of an auroch, but the body of a man. And the other guy went, oh, so the bo uh, the head of an or uh, body of uh, the head of a man, and the body of an auroch. Oh God, now I'm confused. Uh, excuse me. She turns to you. She's uh, this, her snow white eyebrow arcing over an amethyst eye. Yes. What is it? Well, ain't she just a basket of warm and welcome? Where did you learn to sculpt? He elf crosses her arm. From my mother. She taught me many things. To shape the ice. To hone an obsidian blade. To clean the carcass of a seal. Ah. Intriguing. I don't suppose you can tell me about this iceberg. Other than that it grows wider each moon and will in time swallow the whole of Eora. Uh, other than that, yes. No. I cannot. Tis the will of the beast of winter, and not for me to question. Is there someone I should be talking to instead? Vatnir. He can often be found in the hut up the hill. His features will identify him. He bears the touch of Rimergand. Oh, is he godlike? Uh, what brought you to the Espos? I am a creature out of place. Few respect art in the white that wins if it doesn't serve a function, if you can't carry it with you. Elsewhere, there would be little interest in an artist whose work is made to melt. Only here is its impermanence understood. Here, the final song crescendos into its final verse. Huh. Well, that's certainly something. What's that supposed to be? I, I already know that that's supposed to be a rumor gone. Do you jest? Or was that your idea of an insult? It clearly represents Rimergand, the beast of winter, the final god. Obviously. I thought Rimergand was mm, less of a man Rx and more of an Rx Rx. Because the gods are limited to a single form. Is there something you need? Uh, no, I'll be off then. Okay. Go, go. Vafnir awaits. Gotcha. Gott, Vajir. Ah, you must be our honored guest. Vafnir said to expect you. <laughs> Not that he said I should expect so many. No matter. Room will be made. Is that supposed to be like a scar or a tattoo? If there is anything you require, you need but ask. I will strive to deliver. Oh, oh. and before I forget, a welcoming gift. Harbinger's ro oh, oh, robes, Harbinger's hood. Oh, so this stuff is just stuff I'm going to sell. All right, sounds good. Anyways, let's see what, what you have. have is you oh, you're just... Oh, okay. Never mind. How about Hello room? Again. I'd like the to rent a room. What do you got? Uh, plus two resolve, plus one freezing armor rating. Yes, please. I don't care that I already rested. I'm taking that one. <laughs> Alrighty then. Easily oh. done. Oh, well, okay then. So this isn't stealing, which is great. I will take it. Thank you. Uh, that must be the area I'm supposed to go, so I'm going to go the other direction. Uh, give. Thank you. Oh. I'll see to it. This arc skull is tightly affixed to these wooden planks. Examine it closely. You can barely make out a small lever tucked uh, within the recesses of the skull's left eye. Pull the lever. Something stirs beneath the boards, and your attention shifts to the northern wall at the sound of a hidden mechanism uh, realigning.
And beer has been spilled everywhere, even on the spoiled food. You know, I was kind of expecting it like uh, a more it's hidden. Oh. That works. And why shouldn't we fear death? What offers death save erasure? Well, the man speaking before you to the room wears the same tattered robes as his gathered congregates. Uh, but his head is wrapped in soiled strips of linen. I return to life cleansed of experience and understanding. Ignorant, set to suffer again, to repeat our mistakes endlessly, to fail. But the beast would spare us this suffering, would offer us succor, mercy. But it seems our guest has arrived. Come, Dusk Speaker, join our circle. Look upon the Dusk Speaker and be glad, brothers and sisters, for he heralds an end to your suffering. People keep calling me that. I take it that's your doing? I revealed only that which was revealed to me. Now look here. If anyone's going to be giving him pet names, it's me. <laughs> The god likes uh, the god likes cluster of ice blue eyes blinks at her before shifting back to you. I present to you the Watcher of Kad Nua, father of the Defiance Bay riots. Well, I'm no longer technically the Watcher of Kad Nua. It's gone. In whose wake fell the Hollowborn curse upon the Deerwoods. That's funny. It seemed to recall ending the curse. Who dethroned Lord Radric, rightful thane of Gilded Vale, plunging that land into anarchy? You mean there's alternatives to government by brawling? We don't get to see a lot of places that have their act together. Then came back and killed them again. Who scattered the faithless, blood drinking Ethic Null? Kind of up. Uh, but seriously, the riots were entirely the fault of a man named Theos. And whose very stone and soil gave rise to the great green giant that even now strides across the dead fire. Oh, for the love of... He destroyed my castle! Uh, the gathered congregants whisper prayers, hands raised in thankful supplication of the Beast of Winter. Vitnia raises a hand, and the rumors begin to die down. Full glad are they to see you, Watcher, for they came to pay homage to Rimurgan and bear witness to the final dissolution of Eora by his hand. Your coming fulfills prophecy. Wheresoever strides the Dusk Speaker, so falls falsehood torn away, so discards falls cycles, so quiets dawn and dusk. I have high hopes for you. Hello? Hold on. I might be having a little itch, some issues with my mic. I need to test something. One second, chat. Huh. 
Okay. Maybe it's just my brother cooking. Sorry about that. Okay. Anyways, I'm sorry, but I'm not here to end the world. Precisely my point. Whether or not you mean to cause chaos, chaos follows in your wake. You're chosen, whether or not you choose to be. I mean... He's not wrong. Now, if we may have the pleasure of your company, Dusk Speaker, we've prepared a feast, at least by the standards of our humble needs, for your... His words cut off by a tremor that rocks the floor beneath feet. The messenger returns! Go forth and bear... bear witness to his... message! Don't leave me behind! Oh. Oh. He returns. He returns. So close. Such grace. Such majesty. No. Don't leave. Come back. To me, they don't want saving. Not really. What the? That's a messenger? Um. <laughs> the dragon, or this rotting shell shaped like a dragon, turns a glowing eye upon you. You feel its gaze upon your soul, uh, prying at your spirit. A low growl rumbles from its maw. Uh, though menacing, the snarl does not resolve into words. What the blazes is going on? Okay. I thought the cultists of Skan were crazy. This is stupid. They're just like, yay, kill me. What? Um, but what are you? You're supposed to be the messenger of Rimrakhan? The creature's mouth curls over rotting fangs as its, as its laughter plays along the edges of your thoughts. In my experience, dragons usually love the sound of their own voice. The dragon shifts its weights, crushing snow and ice beneath its clawed feet as it turns on you. Well, we're doing this. Have at the... Okay, so resistance to resolve, dex, might, and intellect afflictions. Ooh. Um, I want to get one of. Oh God. Oh yeah, get your minion out. Oh, that hardly seems fair. Oh, this isn't working. Well, oh, dear. Oh, fantastic. Oh, but I doubt this is going to work. 
It works. For a little bit. That was about as useful as a bump. A bump on a pickle. Understood. Un understandable. Oh uh, yeah, that's going to. Be, that's pretty useless. That's a uh, no shield of faith. Okay. Um. Yeah, I might want to do that. Boop. On a pickle. This one's for cheap. <gasps> <laughs> okay, now that we have oh, all right, okay, you don't have the oh, well, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, boom, okay, so you did your thing. Uh, next we'll go for, yeah, we'll go for this. Go for this again, I suppose. Full attack, a successful weekend. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go for one of those. Boom. Are you flanked? Yes, you are flanked. Okay. So you're still going to get the sneak attack. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, no, just actually. Let's get started. A little something. <laughs> Oh my god, really like that. We have no we were oh, Okay, so here we go. We haven't really touched this thing. Oh god. What are you? What's going on with you? What is this? Frightened spirit. No, fighting spirit. Breath of the void. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's um boom. <laughs> Let's get started. This is no use. I cannot get through. Oh, hi. Well, um, great. Dude, this is a freaking fight. Good God. Now get over here quickly, quickly, quickly. This isn't working. Okay. Uh, dazed. Okay, yeah, we'll. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, oh, no, no, no. No, no, got there. Boom. Another for the queen. This isn't working. Oh, 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 this, where's, where's it at? Where you at? Where you at? Uh, worthless sacrifice. There it goes. Yeah, this that's it. Good job. Yes, that was Z, right? Z, uh, yes. Z killed the messenger. 
I mean, technically, we're. Yeah, you know what? That's kind of rude to kill the messenger. I, what am I doing? I'm an it. I, I'm a rude. After all, they, they always say don't kill the messenger. Well, I killed the messenger, which, uh. Oops. What can I do you for? Um. Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot it. Oh, well. Well, that was easy. No, it wasn't. What? What is happening? How could this happen? What is Vafnir? Someone find Vafnir! See you. 